News Update. And good Friday afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your midday Arklamas update. With the recent override of House Bill 648 that bans gender affirming care for minors here in Louisiana, families with transgender youth are concerned about the future. With the ban scheduled to go into effect January the 1st, 2024, NBC 10's Nick Summer spoke with an individual who received gender, gender affirming care but opposes that care for minors. I'm opposed to hormones and anything that can't be reversible for minors. Take into consideration how children change their mind throughout their life and everybody who's ever had a child can relate. It's possible that child may change their mind. Sarah began her transition just two years ago at the age of 50 and she says the transition process is a lengthy one. When you go see the doctor and you've seen the therapist, you know, when they talk to you, um, they put together a plan for your path and which you should go and how you should go about it. Over 14,000 minors started hormone treatment with a prior gender dysphoria diagnosis from 2017 through 2021, according to the Komodo Health Analysis. At the same time, I don't think that hormones are, or anything that's going to alter somebody's body physically is a good way to go for a minor. After suppressing puberty, a child may pursue hormone treatments to initiate a puberty that aligns with their gender identity. Those for whom the opportunity to block puberty has already passed or who decline the option may also pursue hormone therapy. Puberty blockers are reversible. All that does is just put a stop at your puberty as you go through it, and then later on that can be reversed and you can just keep going where you left off. Be like your estrogen and your testosterone, th those aren't reversible at all. Well, in crime news, a Monroe man has been arrested for his alleged involvement in two shootings, one of them which was fatal. Police say Kenneth Kennedy was involved in a shooting on Martinez Street on June 23rd, 2023, where he and another man were injured. Kennedy was also allegedly involved in the shooting on Chatham Street where one person was killed and another was injured. The surviving victim identified Kennedy as one of those shooters. Kennedy was arrested and booked into the Washita Correctional Center for second degree murder, attempted second degree murder and aggravated battery. Now his bond is set at just over $1.5 million dollars before the full story, head to myarklamis.com. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. It's going to be hot and humid this afternoon. The heat index will climb above 110, and thus we'll have excessive heat warning that will be in effect once again for the entire Arkhamus area. And it's going to stay hot with daytime high temperatures getting into the upper 90s. So if you're going to do anything outdoors, it's really just best to wait till about 5, 6 o'clock later on tonight once the sun started to go down. It's still going to feel a bit muggy out there. It's kind of like how it's been the past couple of mornings. It's best to do it early in the morning. But really, we could see scattered showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow. But for today, it's just going to stay hot and humid. We'll reach that high of 99 degrees heat index. We'll be above 110. Be extra careful if you have to be outdoors today. Stay hydrated. Check up on your loved ones. Take care of your pets as well. But tonight, temperatures going to be falling down to the mid 70s. We'll see a low of 75 degrees. A pop up shower too will remain possible, but rain chances overall going to stay around 10%. Winds will be out of the west. Now for tomorrow, expecting scattered showers and thunderstorms with a day to high temperature of about 90. So we will be cooling down. Some places in Arkansas might actually say just in the mid to upper 80s. So definitely a nice relief from these extreme heat conditions that we've been seeing pretty much every day this week. However, Going into next week, those temperatures, they are expected to rebound back to the mid-90s starting on Monday and stay through the mid-90s through Wednesday and Thursday. So not a huge uh, jump in the temperatures back upper 90s, but definitely better than what we've seen this past couple of days this week. And lows will stay generally in the lower to mid-70s. And that is it for your midday update on this Friday. NBC News Daily continues. And once again, take care of your pets and take care of your neighbors. Take care of each other. Be kind to each other out there. God bless you.